And there's yet another mulligan from Trevor. It's not exactly the most interesting to watch here. Looks like they're talking to a judge right now. You might get a judge ball happening. So for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, basically if you exceed a certain number of mulligans, I'm not sure if there is a set number or if it is just up to the judge's discretion. Basically the judge will reveal cards from the top of your deck until they hit a basic. And then you put the basic into play, shuffle your deck and draw six other cards as your opening hand. And then you automatically have to go second, I think is how that works. Um, it's so something along those lines, basically just a way to prevent tournaments from going to infinite amounts of time uh, through players not hitting mulligans. But it looks like Trevor has found a basic. And it is a Trubbish. Trevor is going to go ahead and go first after Richard takes his infinite mulligan draws. Trevor discards a Versus Seeker to the Acro Bike. There's a Head Ringer on the Rizzy, and we talked a little bit last match how Head Ringer uh, can be just a killer versus these sorts of decks. Here's a laser and a random receiver. I assume the receiver, yeah, it's gonna hit a hit a sycamore. Got pretty. I thought it'd actually get deeper into his deck, but I suppose he does. Um, did hit a sycamore there pretty early. And there's a sycamore discarding a Pokemon catcher, two crushing hammers, and a random receiver. Trevor is really looking for the pieces of Seismitoad, that is Seismitoad, Double Colorless, and Muscle Band. We'd also like a Float Stone or an alternate way to retreat that um, Trubbish, but isn't isn't of the highest priority here. And it looks like Trevor's going to pass without an energy drop, which is pretty unfortunate for him. that uh, as you can see that Virizion will take damage from the poison from the hypnotoxic laser because it doesn't have a grass attached. And there's a grass onto the bench to Virizion. an energy switch and maybe a Skylar getting discarded here. Nope, just gonna go ahead, take a look through his deck, determine what's prized and what's not. And gets the third Verizian. Interesting choice. Not sure what the contents of Richard's deck is. But interesting to get the third Verizian. That doesn't seem super necessary. Most decks can function on two. There's a Skyla for a muscle band. I imagine gonna protect the Verizian with the energy on it. Um, if the if it has a muscle band on it, it can't have a flare tool attached, so it can kinda Shut that down and protect itself. Chooses to attach to the Virzian without energy. Interesting enough. I'm not. Oh, that one already has a tool on it. My, my mistake. My mistake. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. It's just going to go ahead and switch to uh, knock the poison out. And there is a crushing hammer tails.
There's an Ultra Ball discarding Verbank and Lysander's Trump card. Gonna go ahead and get a Garbodor, and Garbodor can be a strong, can be strong versus this deck uh, when it has a tool on it. When Garbotoxin is active, it'll shut down the abilities of the Red Signal ability on Genesect and the ability on uh, Verizian as well. Just you know, no, no Red Signal and being not being impervious to status conditions it are are some of the things that uh, can really hurt this deck. And we see the Headringer on the Genesect gonna set it set it back a little bit further. Um, Trevor now with no cards in hand, no energy on board, and just a Seismitoad, Muscle Band, and Garbodor on board. So, Trevor definitely not the start he was expecting. <laughs> We're going to see another Genesect hit the board for Richard. And it looks like Richard will be able to get off the Emerald Slash this turn, so we can go ahead... Deal 70 because of the muscle band to the Garbodor. Attach two grass to one of his Genesects. Choosing to attach to the other Verizian. Interestingly enough, not sure the contents of his hand. Uh, typically, we'll see an Emerald Slash onto a Genesect just to... Uh, because Genesect will be your main attacker, Verizian is there to kind of just speed things along in the early turns. And we see uh, Top Deck versus Seeker gets a Sycamore for Trevor. So this should should help him out a little bit. Going to draw seven fresh cards. I don't see any energy. I do see a Roller Skates. And that's a Tails. Floatstone on the Garbodor is big, though. There's a Laser. Another Tails. Once again, because Garbotoxin is active, uh, he will... The Verizian will be able to get damaged via Hypnotic Laser. And there is the energy. Why? Wow, I just missed that. So, Trevor, that, that uh, Versus Seeker off the top really led to a lot of good things for Trevor. And there's a Juniper. Sorry, messing with some stream settings at the moment. Uh, stream should be back up now, so let me know how that looks, everyone. Again, all apologies this morning has not worked out in the way that we expected. <laughs> Seismitoad with a muscle band and a Trubbish on the bench for Trevor. Trevor, considering playing the last card in his hand, decides against it and just quake and punches. Skyla for Richard. Get a Lysander. Hopefully the video is back up for you guys watching live on Twitch. All apologies for that. I've uh, I've explained the situation multiple times. We're in kind of a predicament here. Uh, I appreciate your patience. And if you would rather watch on YouTube, the videos will be up on YouTube within the next two or three days. So that's always an option. If you are watching on YouTube, I appreciate I appreciate it. And just ignore all of the, all of this talk.
And it looks like Trevor's going to go ahead and scoop him up there. Didn't really have much going on that entire game. One second, guys, just checking out some technical stuff. So both players shuffling up, and once again, on the bubble is brought to you by Topcat Central. Check out topcatcentral.com for a single sealed product. Anything else you need, accessories, things like that, you can buy one of the play mats you see on your screen. Topcat Central is what ke keeps the stream going, so definitely huge shout outs to them. Visit them at topcatcentral.com. Yeah, that game just kind of played out a little bit strangely. You know, Vrizian, typically because of weakness, will have the advantage over Saiyas Matoad, although Trevor's particular build plays, plays things like Crushing Hammer and the Garbodor line. Um, and the head ringers to kind of even that up a bit. Trevor thought the matchup was good for him. Um, but we just didn't, we just saw Trevor not really get much of that. I mean, he had a Garbodor, but he only had that active for a few turns before before it was uh, game over for him. And he just kind of stumbled in the beginning. You know, I don't think he hit a... I don't think he attacked for the first two or three turns in that game. So pretty rough. Um, you know, you never want to see things like that happen. But it is one of the risks when you play a deck like this, which is just kind of has one game plan. It's... You know, you're playing Seismitoad, you're playing Garbodor, you're playing a bunch of items that a lot of them rely on coin flips. You know, you miss those, you draw a little poorly, and your deck is just not as consistent or powerful as some others. a head ringer and a laser for Trevor, so that's definitely exactly where you want to be. Even getting the head's not super relevant there. Uh, Ranger won't be attacking for a few turns anyway, but it's always nice when he looks like he's again passing no supporter and no energy play. Or maybe just considering his options. Nope, there it is. Wow. Pretty unfortunate, but Trevor couldn't have attacked that turn anyway, so hopefully he can build something for next turn. You see, he, he does have supporters in his hand. He's a random receiver at the very least, so uh, maybe just trying to fiend a bad hand there, but we'll see what ends up happening. Ultra Ball gets a Tropius. Trevor's going to take a moment to read that. Uh, Tropius just lets you reset your hand. Um, it was, it's was it been played on and off in Verizzi and Genesect since it's printing. Uh, it has an attack called Return. It says draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Also has an attack called Energy Press for a grass and a colorless that does 20 plus 20 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So, you can do 120 to a Seismitoad after weakness. And it's good to, if you get in a bad spot, you know, just kind of reset your hand. You know, you're, you could end a one or something, play that guy, draw a bunch of cards. It's almost like it never happened. Uh, 2011 World Champion David Cohen is sitting at 1-0 last I heard. Not sure what the result of this round is yet. Probably still playing. And I will get the rest of the pairings up on Twitter.com slash OTB Pokemon. There's a crushing hammer whiffs for Trevor. Laser heads, and there's a sycamore discarding two random receiver. Alrighty, Trevor does draw a Trubbish, so that's at least another basic, something to, something to work towards.
And there's the DCE on that seismitoad. Looks like a tails for Richard. Grass and left raising. I'm going to go ahead and undo the poison. Uh, there's no Garbotoxin active yet. And uh, stellar guidance from Jirachi. You're going to go ahead and fetch a supporter. Sick. There's a retreat into the Tropius and Zero Sick, the DCE. And it's going to go ahead and drop to six. Bike from Trevor gets a random receiver discarding a Lysander's trump card. Gonna go ahead and bring them a stream again for those of you watching at home. Very, very sorry, very apologetic. I know this has not been the greatest presentation for this round. There's another acrobike from Trevor. that roller skate you can hear the excited laughter of a heads from both players roller skates when it gets there it does provide some nice card advantage there's a head ringer on the Verizian EX Second energy on the bench for Rizian. And passing the turn. Taking a look through his discard pile. Yeah. 
Another roller skates heads. Trevor's hand just ridiculous in size right now. There's so many options. It's kind of how the size of Toad decks works. Is it just has a bunch of item cards that are powerful. You know, you have Hypnotoxic Laser, maybe the best item in the game right now. You have Crushing Hammer. You have things like Roller Skates and Bicycle and Acro Bikes, providing a lot of card advantage. Trevor taking a moment to consider whether to play Hypnotoxic Laser or not. And plays it, rolls ahead. Trevor can be, one of the reasons this kind of deck can exist is that Trevor can be very liberal with his use of resources because of that card he just played right here, Lysander's Trump card. So just sort of a way, um, sort of a way for him to be, you, you can kind of, you don't worry about decking yourself, you don't worry about running out of resources, you can just you can always buy it back with Lysander's Trump card, especially the fact that we have Versus Seeker now allows you to basically have five copies of Trump card, which is just huge. That card, uh, the printing of Lysander's Trump card is just has changed the game and the way, the, the way it functions quite a bit, and I, I think mostly for the best. And... Let me know if that's looking any better for you guys who are watching from home on the stream. There's another roller skates, and that's a miss. Can't win them all. Juniper from Richard. <laughs> Games are going pretty slow, though. These players definitely have to think about uh, the risk of the match ending in a tie, which wouldn't be good for anyone here in the first round. Passes back and stays asleep off the flip, so things not looking great. I don't think that Rizine is long for this world. Trevor gonna take a moment to look over his discard pile. And there is the Rizian knockout. Trevor going to go ahead and take two prizes, get his flare tool, 
Back in his discard pile, which will start his turn. And Trevor definitely uh, is a fan of that knockout there, but what's even better is if Verizian had been knocked out going into Trevor's turn, because then it's all it's all on Trevor. He, you know, he has all the options now. Richard is being able to promote a new Pokemon, um, and he's going to be able to attack this turn, whereas really it's when you go into Trevor's turn, Richard has to make all those same decisions, but knowing that Trevor has is going to be the first one to act. There's an Emerald Slash. Trevor with another roller skates and a tails, unfortunately. Does find the DCE for that active seismitoad. Richard draws for his turn. Grass on the Genesect with no energy previously. And this is what we talked about in round one with the Verizian deck there, where if they're under no pressure, they can just set up behind the Verizian and uh, hope to power power up the Genesect a bunch and just kind of sit back, deal a little bit of damage. You know, in that case, which you're going to knock out on Seismic Toad and just build their board to a point where it doesn't really matter what you do because they're just setting up these big attackers quicker than you can do anything. So... Richard definitely was not in the greatest position at the beginning of this game and now has pulled himself back into a reasonable one. Uh, Trevor, you know, has gotten a medium, medium unlucky on flips, probably hit more tails than heads. Only has that seismitoad there, not really a lot going on, and it might be a 2 a victory for Richard here pretty soon. There's a Versus Seeker from Trevor. That's going to find a trump card, and he's just kind of... Trevor's last resort to just try and get resources back into his deck, you know, put put all the items he wants, put the DCEs back in, things like that. But it's really not looking good, and this game continues continues this way for the next few turns. It's going to be rough for Trevor, and Trevor's going to move to 1-1. One and one. As we heard before, Trevor needs 5 points to finish off his world's invite, so any finish here uh, does it for him. So he's not necessarily looking to top 8. Obviously, that's your goal coming into any tournament, but Trevor, I think, would be fine sliding into the top 32 or 16. And I imagine Trevor's going to retreat and quaking punch here. Oh, it looks like Richard didn't take his prizes. I didn't realize that due to dealing with all the technical things earlier. It wouldn't have affected anything, though. He wouldn't have a chance. He wouldn't have had the chance to play cards. And there's a retreat on the Verizian. 
and a knockout on the Seismitoad, putting 20 damage on that Trubbish. Trevor draws a roller skates, and this is going to be the defining moment of the match. It's a Tails. So I think Trevor's going to go ahead. I imagine he will... Hey, considering you're treating that Trubbish, Trubbish already has damage on it anyways, so you might as well just let all that damage get soaked up in the knockout rather than some kind of tricks happen and uh, which is able to take the double knockout here. But I think Trevor is kind of, you know, Trevor has such such a low chance of winning this game. He has exactly one more draw step uh, to find, I guess. A, I guess what he can find here is a Sycamore, and then that draws him DCE Muscle Band, Laser. But the problem is, is that no matter what he does, uh, Richard has the other Genesec set up, so basically if Richard is ever able to attack a Seismitoad, it will be game, so... Or any Pokemon, actually, so I'm not really sure there's anything Trevor could do here besides get just unreasonably unlucky over a number of turns, but sometimes that's what you play for, you know, they're not in, they're not worrying about time restraints right now. Um, you know, they're still early in the tournament. There's no reason to concede for Trevor. He still has, you know, e even if it's a point zero zero one. They're maybe now with the uh, with that uh, flare tool, it's a point zero 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 one chance of winning. You still have to take it and you know play to your outs. With something I always am trying to impress upon players and do what you can to win, even if you're very unlikely to. Other Genesect. And there's a knockout. 20 more on that Trubbish. Pruning the Trubbish with the Floatstone. And there's a Sycamore. So this, again, if Trevor's going to win, this is how he's going to do it. He's going to draw the Sycamore. He's going to probably have to hit bicycles, acrobikes, and things like that to draw more cards. And it, yeah, it's very unlikely, but it's a possibility. The the head ringer on the size of Toad is also uh, pretty brutal here. There's the roller skates. And that's a heads. DC laser and a Garbodor. So these things, th th things are going right for Trevor. Uh, you know, in the long run, things are not going right, but this turn has worked out very well for him. And there's the acro bike. Sees two copies of Verbank, going to take one. It's useless. There's already a Verbank in play. Another acro bike. Sees hammer and random receiver. Discards the random receiver, keeps the hammer in hand. There's the laser. This will be a huge flip. It's a tails. So that, yeah. So Richard shows him. Richard shows him the plasma energy and the switch, just saying, "Hey, I can knock out your center Whatever you do now, it's a laser flip. So Richard Round's gonna go ahead and take this match, two to two zero, over Trevor Reed. Um, pretty unfortunate for Trevor having to fall to one and one at this point, but somebody's gotta lose. We will be right back. <laughs> 